from the Mauritian Day is the day that traditional African women's organization is going to launch our t-shirt campaign. Here are we so that we will support our natural here heritage and culture and we will not accept the continued discrimination against natural African hair in school and at the place. We will start with a prayer by Sister Roxanne Harris Darrico on behalf of the organization and what we intend to do going forward. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing us safely. God, we ask that you look over us, watch over us, over our proceedings, and you grant us your blessings in all that we do, in all our endeavors. This I ask in your name. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Welcome to the, to the seeing guests and unseen guests. We thank you for your participation. Today, Tao wants to launch our t-shirt campaign in support of wearing of the natural African hair at school and in the workplace because there is an increase of bias discrimination for wearing of natural African hair. School children are being Haunted and taunted from authorities and at the workplace, people are also threatened, both male and female, for wearing natural African hair. We choose today to launch this t shirt campaign, Here Are We, because today is African Liberation Day, and this was something started since 1953 in the Organization of African Unity and it has evolved and maintained among independent African states. So I'm going to do a brief statement on African Liberation Day, why today is an important day for us as African people. African Liberation Day was created by some independent African countries as a sense of unity. The conference was held in Ghana, April 1958, and was declared African Freedom Day. The Organization of African Unity was established May 25, 1963, by leaders of independent African states at another conference in Addis Ababa. 25th of May 1963 was appointed as African Liberation Day. This historical day was commemorated by the OAU annually as African Liberation Day. OAU was replaced with AU, which is African Unity. The AU take a stance for Africans in Africa and the diaspora must unite. So this is our statement, a brief statement on African Liberation Day. There's a number of activities that has been hosted in Africa, the independent state, in the diaspora, and here in Trinidad and Tobago. So we are launching our t-shirt campaign in support of wearing natural African hair in school and in the workplace, too many school children are discriminated against because of attending school in the natural African year. And you also have people at the workplace who are threatened if they don't cut their hair or if they don't straighten it or weave it or whatever, that they would lose the job or they're not allowed to come to work. So we are saying no. We are taking a stand and we also have a petition that we have produced so that we would in the position to get the powers that be with the Ministry of Education and the government to make a specific policy 
for natural African hair because in the school system they are saying that the hair should be neat, clean and groomed and that is left up to the discretion of the principal, the teacher, the security guard, the safety guard, whoever is in charge in the school have that discretion and leeway of interpretation. So we are saying no, we are calling on the government, we are calling on the powers that be the Ministry of Education that has policy change specifically for natural African hair. So I'm going to read the petition that is we will have available as widely as we can. Some organization has already said that they would like to have copies of the petition so that they will be able to get signatures. We are hoping to get over 5,000 signatures so that we can take it to the government, take it to the ministry and start that conversation and a policy drive so that our children, even now is a decade for people of African descent and very little is being done because I am sure there is no school in the school system today, the 25th of May, which is African Liberation Day, is doing anything positive to even let the African children in the school system know of the importance of this day. I am sure not one school in Trinidad and Tobago have done anything today for the celebration of African Liberation Day. So I'm going to read out the petition so that we would know what is in our mind. And I also want to add that Dr. Arman Saba Sakana, publisher, writer, lecturer, and his group, Kanak House, is in full support of this petition. And we thank him for participating and creating this document so that we can move forward. So I'm going to read the petition. A petition against discrimination of cultural hairstyle of the African child. The African community in Trinidad and Tobago, unlike most of the Caribbean, with Guyana and Suriname as primary exception, is not the majority ethnic group and shares a similar population percentage as descendants of India. While the Indian community has forged ahead in education and business, the African community has noticeably regressed in these areas. Culturally, the African community in Trinidad and Tobago has pioneered innovation in the language, the arts, music, sports, etc. That have become standard from which all have judged. But because of the minimal social mobility in the education and business arena, although governing the society by a majority party whose foundational members membership is Africa, although representing all sectors of national ethnicities. The proliferation of racial characteristics, slurs, and outright discrimination is noticeably seen in the cultural attack upon the African child and youth who extol the cultural heritage of Africa specifically in the hairstyle expressive of that African culture. Because of the ferocity and consistency, we want our students to express themselves with respect and to treat others with respect. So the Ministry of Education has undergone an evaluative process to look at the hair policy in the school system. This change of policy will allow students to wear their locks, braids, and other protective hairstyles associated with their racial and cultural identity. One of the most important changes to note is that they will be generally accepted for both boys and girls. There will be no longer any necessity to apply to the Ministry of Education for permission to wear locks in school. This is a quotation and a statement made by Diane Kentish Rogers. Minister of Education in Anguilla. This is a position of the Anguilla government that they made a policy change. This progressive and necessity official government policy has not been instituted in Trinidad and Tobago. And we of the Traditional African Women's Organization, in collaboration with Dr. Amon Saba Sakana of the publishers Kadak House, 
has designed this petition for signatures to present to the Ministry of Education to set up an independent investigative body to study and report on the egregious phenomenon of which no other ethnic group in the country is subjected to. So this is our petition that we will be putting out there for signatures so that we will be able to take it to the government. In our campaign for natural African hair policy, we have our t-shirt, we have our petition, and we also introducing our campaign in words, introducing Sister Nefta Kojo. Here we are, the Aboriginal ones of the earth, the fathers and mothers of Hume, the human. All here tells our story of authenticity. Coiled here creating springs of electricity connection to the universe. Here so rich that it creates the world's leading market of hair care. With centuries of doubt of our natural beauty after being lied to about our crowning glory. After being told of being inferior by another. Even victimized by our very sons and daughters of lighter hue. Due to they themselves trying to understand their own story and timeline, trying to figure out where they come from, doubtful of my maternal history in their life. So the children now envy the mother. So the children or offspring creates a system of self-hate for us, their parents, in hopes that it takes the glow out our eyes to help us feel lesser than what we are. Still, we are here. Blacknificently here with glorious here, ancient here, always have been here. Destroyed relics and statues can't hide the truth of my hue. The colors of the rainbow you can see shine as it glistens, sun-kissed here, original here. Embrace your curls without fear. You see, my child, you dress your hair with salon curls while I straightened it for centuries, trying to make you comfortable but really confusing you even more with the confusion created out of lack of love and want of acceptance. I have confused you to think that you were right to watch me as inferior, but I am not. <laughs> I am your mother. Just as the oldest tree stands tall with strong branches and leaves growing upwardly, just as the fruit of the offspring grows and hangs with weight, so too does the hair of the Aboriginal man and woman grows upwardly, so too does the hair of my children of a lighter hue hangs and falls. The Aboriginal human hair naturally defies gravity, defies centuries of lies and misconception. With such potency and originality, it's no surprise to me. My hair orbits naturally, like planets in the cosmos, beautiful in elevation, with those of us who need us to help us rebuild, reshape, and remember us for who we are, for we are here, rocking our shades and our natural hair. Thank you. At this juncture, if there's any question anybody want to ask or anybody want to add anything, I would just like to say that I am proud to be part of this campaign and I am in support of this petition as we have to fight against discrimination of all kinds, especially against our natural hairstyles for our children and our men and women in their workplaces. And I look forward to hearing that our petition gets 10,000 plus signatures. And I look forward to the ministry, by extension of the government, making policy changes that will be favorable to us of African descent. Our t shirts are available. We ask that you purchase your t shirt, wear it proudly with all the African hairstyles that we have, both male and female, and you can call us or contact us 357-1604. You could also call 
Roxanne at 768-3574. And we have our secretary 305-3886. We are looking forward to full support of all African organizations, Afrocentric thinking people and right thinking progressive people in the African community and even in the wider community to support this campaign to have a change in policy towards African natural here in the school system and at the workplace. Thank you very much for being here with us today.